Swing it around to Hickey. Nine on the shot clock. Hickey in traffic. Slice over and knocks down the three. Okay. Yeah. A lot of Franks. It was good defense. Soto came across the help. Shot back again as well. Well deep with the three. Randall for the triple. Well, Love came up. Love came up. Love's letting him fly from Randall. Pero bago yun, please like this video at mag subscribe. Everything's fallen to pieces, so great opportunity two days later after a big loss to come back and try and get a win. What a late as well. We are set to go. Saturday Night Hoops here at the Hungry Jacks at NBL. A few of those. Hickey goes on with the dribble and draws contact as well. So foul on Sunday, Ditch. He's going to reward it. We've been a development player. Jacob Jacobus is rewarded. Davo Hickey who are coming in and saying, look, you're going to get this opportunity now. Lucky Dent still a development player, but he's taken his opportunity. We see it all around the league. It, a lot of players, we've got some exciting talent in Australia. A lot of them just need a chance. And he's got his chance in NBA 23. That's why he doesn't start with feeding the entire state of South Australia. Well, the fans will be pretty happy if he does. Get the score for the Illawarra Hawks. Game number four in the season for Illawarra. One and two coming into this game. And Hickey teases the fans, but makes the back end to get his first points of the season. And deny the burgers so far in Adelaide. But they got burgers on Thursday night. And I think per capita and the stat man might be able to back this up. The teams tend to give away burgers, the Hungry Jacks in Adelaide, more than anywhere else. Now, Kai Soto into the game early as well. Played limited minutes on Thursday. Steve Desch has to launch that in the air with Robert Franks. Lockheed Dent was guarding him as Matthew ain't gets so up in the air. That's too easy. It's going to be a good time out here from CJ Bruden. That's just exceptional. And Antonius Cleveland was a big part of that, but now he's a big part of the Adelaide 36ers who restart here with a three-point edge. Middle stages of the opening quarter. And as Sunday Detch uses Franks and gets it back. Randall on the other wing. But Detch decides to go solo. Can't convert. And again, Hickey grabs the board. And another foul called here on Sunday Detch, his second. Well, that's really good defense there by Davo Hickey. Stayed down, didn't get lifted on an up fake, and then contested that. That's a tough shot by Sunday Ditch. So, great, great start by Davo. Having an impact. George King brings them up the floor. Harvey gets it back from Mathiang. Dances into the paint. And well, I thought of travel. There was a lot of different calls. Tacoma is not happy whatsoever. So look, a little bit of a pro hop. We have another look at it here. So he tries to split and that... Oh my. That's, that's not travel. That's not a travel. I think, look, the, the pro hop is the one that you can't do FIBA rules, especially in the NBL, but... Oh, slow it down. It's a proper... Maybe close, but... Don't often see that called. Fourth turnover for the Hawks. Adelaide has three in that category. A little over four minutes out from quarter time. Randall getting busy here. Backs to chance at a three-point play as he opens his scoring account. Good substitutions here from CJ Bruton. Everybody getting a little taste here in, in the first quarter, which is interesting to see is to see Craig Randall. That's just too easy. He's got a, a gifted score. He scored big time wherever he's played at. So you've got the ball in his hands. Could at least have some sort of show on that ball screen. Otherwise, he's just getting to wherever he wants to get to, and he's going to fill it up. And I like this from the 36ers. Bit of extended pressure. Six-point buffer for Adelaide at home, trying to snap a five-game streak of the road teams winning. As Mathian almost lost it, dribbled down onto his foot. Harvey likewise, just with some ball handling problems, decides to pull the trigger, and that was nice. That's just a nice one-on-one -on -one play. He slipped over the decal, regathered himself, got Mitch on a nice little crossover and knocks down the three. Two or two from deep now for his six points from Tyler Harvey. And Adelaide can't convert. A chance here for the Hawks once more. And Harvey taking on Cleveland, enjoying the battle against his former teammate. Cleveland deflected the pass. Came to Randall. They've got numbers up the floor quickly here. Joining in, Franks marches into the paint and whistle on the play. Free throws to come. It's where they're going to be hard to stop. Adelaide 36 is out in transition. We did see glimpses of that in the blitz. And the NBA games are going to be different. That's an anomaly because of how big the floor is and how spaced the court can be. But you've got a certain team on the floor that can really push the pace one through five. Mike Slotto runs the lanes well. And even if it's Daniel Johnson, if everyone pushes the lane, you get the big fella to roll behind and step into some trailing three balls. That's where they're going to be tough. 
Free throw woes continue for Robert Franks. He was two of four from the free throw line against Tassie on Thursday night. Makes the adjustment. And Adelaide with a four-point buffer here. Has been as big as seven when they led 9-2 after three minutes. And good pressure again from Adelaide. Just getting hands in the passing lane. Just disrupting the Hawks. Just a nice little 2-2-1 press. They're not trying to steal the ball. Purely trying to take time off the clock and just disrupt and get Illawarra out of a nice little flow. So great change up and just a great, a great ploy to take time off the clock. Dent. Retreating away from McCarran. Swing it around to Hickey. Nine on the shot clock. Hickey in traffic. Soto came across with the help D and it was good. Franks beats Cleveland who bounces into the paint. Knocks down the shot and draws a foul. Well, there they go again. Off to the races. If you don't get a good look, they're off to the races. But Cleveland's down here. Maybe he got a little bit of a stinger on the ankle. Really tough move. He's tough to stop in transition. Oh, look at him here. Robert Franks was good defense. Soto came across to help. And then right now, you, if you're the horse, you've got to get back. Someone's got to pick up the ball. Yeah, just unfortunately coming down on his ankle a little bit. But that's how important ball pickup is going to be playing against the Adelaide 36ers. If you don't score, whether it's a turnover or a missed shot, somebody has to pull the ball up and really try and slow them down. So once they get a full head of steam, they've got weapons everywhere. And it's not just the guy on the ball, Pete. It's uh, the four other guys have to come back, show a crowd, plug up the paint. It's great to see Adelaide get to the line. It's the sixth free throw of the first, half, uh, first quarter. It's the margin again out to seven points here. Inside the last three minutes of the opening quarter. Jacob Jacomas just putting a little bit of extra pep at the offensive end here at the moment. And the shot clock rolls here to single digits. Hickey, well just lost his footing there in a tangle with Drimic. Ball spills out of his hands. They turn it over for the fifth time. Oh, no, he's been unlucky there. Just a bit of contact. We so often see this being called. That little bump there. He did try and get the little chicken wing in there after that. But how often do we see, if you're not square, that called a blocking foul. So probably a bit hard done there is Hickey. Five turnovers, a high number for the Hawks. They average 15 a game so far this season. But Adelaide with an opportunity here to build on this lead. Inside, Franks, left-handed shot over the top of Deng is all the bottom of the net. It's a game-high nine-point lead. Well, they're just scoring in multiple ways. Obviously, the transition buckets are easy. The half-court sets, they're finding their targets. Everyone's getting to share the ball and get, get good looks. And when everyone gets a touch of the ball, everyone feels good and feels happy. Five scorers for Adelaide so far. A little over two minutes out from quarter time. Dent, pocket pass, found Mathiang. Back to Dent baseline. Good ball movement, but not the result they were after. And Kai Soto gets the loose ball. Beats McCarran. Decides to go to Franks, who got a good look, can't convert. And a chance here for the Hawks. They need to find George King a shot. He's been on the floor for four minutes now and yet to take a shot. In traffic, Deng had the pass knocked down. King shares it with Den. Shot clock to 10 now. Work it down low. Got Mathiang into the paint. Shut down. Hickey corner three. Off the mark. So two of four from long range now, the Hawks. 36% from the fielder overall. Adelaide at 67% from the field. 8 of 12 have been efficient at the offensive end so far. And enjoy a nine oh point par for McCarran. Turn down the open look to get Drimmick involved. Well, it's a great unselfish play, but that's a highlight for the rest of his career. What is he doing, Gibbo? You've got to shoot that, but again, that's what Macca does. Very unselfish. I would have shot that one, Pete, but again, this is what's going to make Adelaide successful. Soto stopped Deng in his tracks there, but did it illegally according to the referees. Whistle on the play. Going to be a first personal here for Kai Soto. I didn't like to shoot too much, but even I would have let this one fly. That has to go up. In a way, it's still a highlight because isn't he Drimmick? Another one who's coming off a bit of an injury but had a strong NBL1 campaign and another guy who can really fill it up for them off the bench. That's what we spoke about. They're deep. They've got a lot of offensive talent. Deng was good in the last game against Perth. Game high 12 boards to go with his six points. Average seven and five in 19 minutes at Brisbane last season. 
And the Hawks will take anything they can get at the moment because Adelaide have had the better of this, scoring the first five points of the game. And opening up a double-figure lead here in the opening quarter, which now has been shaved to 10. So inside the last 60 seconds, six scorers for Adelaide so far as Franks ends off Deng. Now Saito, guarded by Froling. Shot clock at eight as McCarran looks inside. Floater off the front of the rim. Saito tried to keep it alive. Now Kevin White against his former team in game 300. Shares it across. Harvey caught it in rhythm. Three won't work for him. So two of five from deep. King gets a look. It's off the mark. Let it tip in from Deng. Wouldn't work. But he got it back again for the Hawks. And it's got Froling at close quarters. And shut down by Soto. Ball came to King. He was fouled. Free throws for the Hawks. Everyone take a breath. A bit going on in that little passage. Tyler Harvey trying to keep hot in the corner. But good effort from the Illawarra Hawks. Multiple efforts on the offensive end. That's a great block from Kai Soto. George King there to get another opportunity. And that's what they're going to have to do. Right now, they've had a tough go about it from the field. 5 of 17 from the field in the opening quarter. So they've had opportunities, four offensive rebounds. Now they've got to start to capitalise on them. So King shooting the ball at 62% from the field, 58 from deep, and 50 from the free throw line this season. And he gets to the line here. And Adelaide with four blocks in his opening quarter. Cleveland with a couple. Soto with a couple as well. They're dominating inside. One. Much better opening to the game than we saw from them against the Jack Jumpers on Thursday night. Another healthy crowd in attendance. And it's an eight point lead here for Adelaide. And look for the last play of the opening quarter. Franks gives it up. Randall fires from deep. It's off the mark. Long rebound came to King. Couldn't get a shot off it in time. Guys, um, Jacob Jehomas uh, was just talking about the moving the ball with a purpose, not just moving the ball, but getting it going to work. They're also down the other end, worried about the mismatches when Frank catches it. Franks catches it down low to do their work early, get in front of him. Well, they're going to have to because that's exactly what the LA 36ers did well to try and pick them apart. And Craig Randall, he's making plays, and he's making plays for other people. That's going to be a positive as Mitch McCarran tries to stay aggressive and is. He's up to six points right now, and it just looks like a different outfit compared to Thursday night, which is no surprise. Sometimes it can be good to try and get smacked in the face early when you think everything's going to be going well. You go and beat the Phoenix Suns and think, OK, this is going to be a really good year, and it's still very likely could. It's Sam Froling. Well, that is the epitome of ambidextrous right there. Well, he needs to get more of the ball. Um, two or three, three or five, sorry, from the field. He needs to see more of the ball. He's a key focus and get him some touches. Similar pattern developing here. Adelaide scoring the first five points of the quarter and then Froling snapping the drought for the Hawks. Transpired here again in term number two. So 13 point edge for Adelaide, trolling aggressively, got close to the hoop and finishing touches applied by Tim Conrad. Oh, the ran two point field goal from Tim Conrad. We don't <laughs> see that too often. He normally has that tent firmly put up outside the three point line. This ran the once more. One leg can't convert. And rebound for Deng. They share it to Conrad. Steps inside Drimmick. And again, the two point attempt, like that so much, went back there. What is going on? Turned down a semi-good look from three. Well, I don't think there's a such thing as a poor look from three for Tim Conrad. No, there's definitely not. And points per minute, four points, two minutes. That's what he does. And a great, great inclusion into the game. Veteran getting it done. Soto, shot clock, rolls to six. Feeds the corner. Randall working baseline. Found some room. Reverse wouldn't finish. CJ Bruton thought he was fouled. Referees didn't see it that way. Frolling goes on with a dribble. Confronted by Soto. Goes with the right hand this time unsuccessfully. McCarran grabbed the rebound and off and run. Now he's lost the handle on it. Came to Frolling. And quick outlet pass here for Deng. To climb oh. upstairs and finish in style. Oh, nice little sort of look. A few things to say to Craig Randall. Oh, Lumpus Harvey goes to Froling against Johnson. Foul's going to be called on Daniel Johnson. Going to be his second personal.
But that there is just a scout breakdown. That, that big has to get up to the line of the ball, especially with someone like Tyler Harvey in the effort areas. You see Anthony Drimmick, Sunday Dash getting subbed in. These guys are renowned for playing defense, all the energy and effort plays in, and that's what Adelaide need. Mathiang with it. Now King, shot clock to single digits as Harvey getting busy, fires unsuccessfully, so to the rebound. What a break there. Sunday just got cleaned up on the second screen and Tyler Harvey found himself wide open. I don't think he expected to be that wide open. Randall working the baseline. Active hands there from Harvey. Knocks it down out of court. So that up at the defensive end as well, the Hawks. Well, that's evident. You saw that on that play there. Everybody's moving together. Tyler Harvey getting to the corner-to-corner -corner pass. If we had to chop that off. 14 points to 7 is the run from Illawarra since half time. And Adelaide are now playing catch-up. Shot clock at four. And again, the offense a little stagnant. Soto had it ripped away from him. They come up empty once more. And Harvey casually up the floor. In the corner, here's King. He fires the three. It's off the mark. This is now the other 36ers. I like to see them get a play round for Robert Franks. Where he can get in a spot where he can succeed. They find Drimmick open for the three. It's short. Madron, you're onto the floor. For the first time, former Adelaide player back in Adelaide for the first time since joining the Hawks. Former player last year and wants to get busy early against Drimmick, who takes it away from him. That's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul. It's an easy call. Doesn't like it, but not in position. Turn the ball over. There's any sort of fast break opportunity. So Drimmick gets the steal and that little hold there. That is unsportsmanlike foul every day of the week and twice on Saturday, I reckon. Yeah, that's a pretty simple call when you grab someone's bicep. Just some sloppy offense from both ends. A lot of, a lot of dribble. Not a lot of great screens being set. And Anthony Drimmick with a wry smile as well. Enjoying his time back in Adelaide. He was rookie of the year. Back in 2017 with Adelaide. Last couple of years in Brisbane, but now back in South Australia. Just to tie it away as he makes the adjustment. So back on level terms, Adelaide. They led by 12 in the opening quarter, led by as many as 13 in the second term, Adelaide. And now they are fighting tooth and nail. With the Illawarra Hawks who are bringing the usual hustle we expect from the Hawks. Sunday Ditch with it. Harris inside. May have travelled, and that's the call. I think he may have travelled a couple of times. Well, this right now, the Adelaide 36 is, and you mentioned it, Gibbo, no one really setting screens. The Hawks are switching a lot, so it's imperative that you come together, make contact on the screen to make the, the Illawarra Hawks have to try and do something different, because right now they're just walking around on the defensive end and having anything they want go their way. Harvey with a floater. That won't work. Franks grabs the rebound. Adelaide had eight turnovers at half time. They've had five in this quarter. Sunday Ditch, Brian Soto, and Harris, and an offensive foul going to be called on Kai Soto here. Well, that's what happens when you're not set, because you get the big fella doing the handoff and just rolling into the big guy. It is a foul because you continue to move. Having that look at it here, the handoff, and as he's trying to go down, he's trying to do the right thing, but probably thinking, why is he handing off to Hiram Harris on the perimeter? Game on a knife edge here. First of our double header. A little later, it's the Phoenix hosting the New Zealand Breakers. Stick around for that one here on the Hungry Jacks NBL Saturday night action. Shot clock to single digits for the Hawks. Harvey, who fires once more. Can't get it to go. Kai Soto, the rebound. Hands over to Harris. So Franks is the only starter on the floor at the moment for Adelaide. Looked a little bit out of control there. Couldn't convert. Tipping from Soto wouldn't work either. And George King put a stop to it. Well, it's just messy offense. Adelaide need to get the ball onto their arm. Run a play for Robert Franks, whether it's in the post, a pick and pop, something. So it's less dribble, more pass. Well, they've had more turnovers than field goals in this quarter. Adelaide has... Hawks add another two. King expands the margin. Well, this quarter's looked like a straight pickup game. Really. I mean, that was probably the best looking set that we've seen. Throw it into the post and let Matthew Ain try and go to work. But otherwise than that, it's been very sloppy. Adelaide restricted to just eight points here at the moment. 
in this quarter. Sunday Detch overdue. He fires the three off the mark. Loose ball came to Drimmick. He helps himself to an easy two. Harvey takes them on in the corner. Deng fires the triple. It's off the mark. And Adelaide get their first win of the season after being smashed by Tasmania 48 hours ago. Thank you for watching. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito ay mag-subscribe ka na sa ating channel. Pakifollow na rin ang ating Facebook page Utak Pilipinas. Again, this is D-Sports TV. Paalam.